All right, so for this tutorial, what I'm going to do is basically just add audio to um, some buttons uh, just to, and also just a, a soundtrack. So what I would suggest doing is actually going to um, incompetech.com, so I-N-C-O-M-P-E-T-E-C-H.com. And what you can do is at the very top here, you can go get started with music, and then you can search for um, types of music. So you can get um, base. You can type what kind of feeling you want, right? So it might be like, let's say, relaxed, and tempo. I don't really know much about that. You could say, okay, I want it to be, uh, I don't know, classical, and then you got length here, and you can kind of use those in order to get um, the song that you want. So you would just Gymnopedia, uh, and I can download it here. Or if you want, there's a way to. Um, if you click down here, you can actually download an uncompressed version, but you have to pay for it. It's like five bucks. So you just click on that. You would download it. I already downloaded a song, but you could go to here. Um, this is a nice website. It's got royalty-free music. Um, another place that you can go uh, for your sound effects is freesound.org. You'll have to make an account. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. And then log into it. And then you can just search for all sorts of things. So I could be like, button, right? And then it will give me a whole slew. So it's freesound.org. Uh, buttons so I feel like all right there's a button monitor button and it's not really much of a button that's weird okay um, but you can see there's a whole whole slew of them uh, and I mean there's just millions of sounds on here so uh, you can use this uh, just go ahead and do those and download them um, uh, let's see and then you can see I have these two here so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to uh, I make a new folder. I have my project folder up and make a new folder. Create folder. And this is going to be audio. Audio. And I am going to open that folder. And I'm just going to drop my audio into that folder. Where's my other one? And that and that. Okay. So this one's like a button click. And this one's going to be my soundtrack. Okay. So one's the sound effect and the other one is the um, soundtrack okay soon as it drops it in there it's really going very slow hmm there it goes all right yay okay so now i got my two things in it now to do the audio oops sorry I'm in there. it's really quite easy the soundtrack you could just drop it right in there it'll automatically make an object and then um just make sure it has play on awake that just means it automatically plays and you can put on loop if you want to I'm just going to lower my volume a bunch because I just kind of want it in the back. Uh, and that's good enough. Okay, so that works. Now, to do um, audio onto something, what we're going to do is I'm going to do it to my start button. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do it to my start button. And what I'm going to do uh, is... Oops, can I do that? Good. Let's see, because I kind of there it goes. Okay, I'm gonna do it to my start button here, and I'm just gonna add. Uh, I'm gonna add to my game controller script here, real easily my scripts. I'm gonna add to my um, menu script just because it'd be easiest to do that. Um. I'm going to add a bit of code, okay? Um, and actually, before I even bother doing that, I'm going to do this real quick. So on my game controller itself, I'm going to add another component, okay? Um, which apparently I already did. Let's uh, remove component. So I'm just going to go add component, and we're going to do um, audio, and an audio source. It's going to make this the audio. And then onto that, I am going to go my audio, and click back on the game controller, and I'm going to drop this into the audio, that button. Okay, and I don't want it to play on awake. I don't want it to automatically play. I'm gonna leave the volume up because I want it to be a loud click noise. All right, um, good. There we go. So that is now on there. So uh, I have the audio attached to it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another function called play click, just because that's what I want it to do. And in this, I am. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna make a variable for my audio, 
to control it. And the type is going to be an audio source. All right. Um, which I'm going to assign that the I'm going to use the get component component um, dot the component I want to get is going to be the audio source. Boom boom and yada yada. Good. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm just going to uh, I'm going to use this get component audio source, which gets the component of what this is attached to. In this case, I already put the audio on the game controller, which also has the script attached to it, so it knows where to go. Uh, and the types of audio source is going to store it into the audio. So that's just going to make it so I can grab a hold of the audio, and then this is just going to play it. So then it's just audio dot play, and that's it. All right. So it's just going to it's going to take it, it's going to store it in there, and then it's going to play it. And that's it. Hit S. Click back in here. Uh, Control S. I'm sorry. Oh, found an error on 40-60. 4060. Boom. Variable. Mm, found. Was looking for that. Oh, and put the closing on this. All right, try that again. And went away. All right, good. Now what I need to do is actually on the start button, I need to have it that when I click on it, that that pops up. So I'm just going to um, go ahead and add another on click here. And I'm just going to, again, drop the game controller on here. And the function I want to play is... Um, is... Um, is this. I want it to go to play click, like so. And now, when I hit play, you can hear my music, and you can hear the click, just like that. All right. Um, yeah, it's as simple as that. So, there you go.